Hey guys, welcome back. It's Redox. I hope you guys enjoyed the tournament that they hosted this weekend. I definitely had a great time watching it. And I am going to be live streaming once again, but um, I don't have all the setup yet. So once I get that done, you guys will see me frequently live stream uh, just like I did before a couple weeks ago. But anyways, getting back to this video, guys, we're going to go ahead and try the Chemical Warriors, which I have recently unlocked. I got to uh, about level 7 here. And I also unlocked Commander Jade myself. And of course, when you pair these green green commander and the green units together you're gonna make some big explosions if you can get the catalyst missile off and also if you actually get the chemical warrior close to the enemy base and you're able to spread two to three tiles of gas and you fire this missile on top of one of those gas clouds the base will actually take a lot of damage due to the chain reaction that is caused by the chemical gas clouds I know in a recent patch EA had nerfed this base damage, but it's still significantly high if you can pull this off. So anyways, let's go ahead and play some games here and see what we can get. Alright guys, so hopefully we get to see some massive green explosions. And that's what I would like to do. Now, it's been a while since I actually used uh, the Chemical Warrior and Jade, so definitely my mechanics on this will be a little bit shaky here. I'm going to start off with a Militant, as Militants make a great scout for me, and I can kind of see what my opponent may go into. He goes for two Harvesters, so I'm going to move one Laser Squad up to the tile, and I'm going to try to see if I can sneak it in, but the Laser Squads are relatively slow at moving, so I'd like to get a, maybe an attack bike as well. Uh, and we'll see if we can get this later squad to start attacking the harvester. By now, he might he must have some kind of unit up soon. I'm gonna send one attack by down to the south as well to see if I can get something going. He might have just went for a uh, tech lab right away. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Um, I could try to focus down one harvester at a time with my attack bikes. That one harvester on the top is almost dead. So we're gonna move this attack bike across, and uh, he's definitely trying to go for. A tech lab. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to build one chemical warrior to prepare against uh, the uh, shockwave here. And let's see if we can actually move our unit here onto the tile. And see if we can actually kill the shockwave. I'm blocking off that unit as much as I can. And maybe we could just fire off a missile. You know what? Let's actually do that. Let's fire a missile. And that's going to do damage to this Kodiak battleship too. But his Kodiak battleship doesn't take a lot of damage there. Uh, we saw that dangerous battleship coming out, so we definitely need to stop this as much as we can. We're going to take out a Banshee here. I'm going to build another Banshee to see if I can kill that Harvester. And I'm killing a lot of his Harvesters right now. So this is looking great for me. And we got some green goos off here. We're going to go ahead and take down that Harvester once again here, guys. And pretty much we've got the game in the bag. Now, I could try rushing this guy here. Let's throw another missile here. That's going to do a lot of damage. It might not kill a Sandstorm, though. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's pretty much going to be the game. So that was pretty sick. You guys have to keep in mind that Jade is level 6 for me right now. So her missile is not on the same level as some of these players. This guy had level 9 units. So of course, a level 6 missile isn't going to one-shot these guys. But had my Jade uh, been at level 9 or level 8 even... Uh, the missile would have definitely killed stuff like the Sandstorm, definitely would have done more damage to the Kodiak, um, and also my Chemical Warriors are at level 7. But anyways, that was a pretty fun game. Let's go ahead and check out the next game. Establishing battlefield control. Welcome back to the second game, guys. Let's see what we can get with our Chemical Warriors and Jade's Catalyst Missile in this. Oh, that was a mistake. I pressed the War Factory by accident. I thought I went Hand of Nod. So, you know, this could go very badly if not played right i might have you know maybe i could have gone for an attack bike rush there but you know i, I was very hesitant because my plan was definitely not to rush my opponent let's see if he's got a double harvester he's got no double harvesters right now and i'm really curious as to see what he's got he's got attack bikes of his own and he's going to rush me so we've got to stop this clearly of course we can't let let our opponent we're gonna wall off uh with our laser squads here and he is cornered, and that's going to screw him over. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to stop my harvester from farming as much as I can here. And I'm gonna get a chemical warrior up because I think he's gonna have some anti-infantry units. He does he does have that flame squad, 
and I haven't been mining for a while, so this is bad for me. Let's get some chemicals, chemical warriors up here. He's got more bikes. He's got more flame squads. Um, and I think his level 8 flame squad may kill my guy here, which it will. Let's go for another chemical warrior. I think I'm going to... Yeah, that level 8 flame squad was just too strong. It's going to take some damage to the gas clouds here. Um, and we're going to try to move our dudes here as quick as we can. Maybe capture this launch pad in the process. He has an attack bike on the top. He's thinking maybe I might go for some attack. Uh, just go for a double harvester, I think. That's what's happening right now. And we're going to just build more chemical warriors or attack bikes as well. Which we have to do in order for us to capture this missile or try to hold it off as best as we can. So let's do that right now. Let's build some more green goos. I wish I could fire off a missile here, but unfortunately I won't be able to just because... Um, I don't have enough crystals, but soon I do have enough, but unfortunately he'll get the missile off here. This is not looking so good right now for me. Uh, because I thought, you know, the chemical warriors, they cost more than the flame squads. So to be honest, even if I was one level lower, I should be able to beat his uh, flame squad. I mean, it, it only seems fair that way because chemical warriors cost 20 more crystals, right? For what they cost, I mean, like, come on, dude. Let's move some tanks across here as well. And he didn't get my harvester. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but he didn't get my harvester, so... Alright, he brings out his... He has chemical warriors too, which is interesting. I don't know if that was necessary. Because the thing is... His flame squads were already beating my... Oh my god, I lost my harvester. That sucks. I thought I saved my harvester there, but it looks like I lost my harvester. Okay, so we are going to try to hold on to these launch pads here. He's going for another flame squad to try taking out my guys. I'm going to just build a whole bunch of banshees because tanks, of course, can't attack air. And I'm afraid that flame squad, I don't have a harvester right now. But I should be able to get this rolling here. Now he's got some attack bikes. He's trying to move that tick tank. Oh, God. Okay. I may actually lose this here. Come on, get onto the launch pad fast. Come on, I gotta kill these tick tanks. They take forever to die. Now he's got cyborgs too. Come on, just capture this. Oh my god. Yeah, we got this. We got this. I stopped this tick tank. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's take care of that. Okay, I'm gonna build some more attack bikes here. Uh, maybe I should fire off a missile or two. Yeah, let's fire off a missile. Let's see if he dodge. He doesn't dodge that, so his cyborg goes down. I mean, I think that could have been a waste of a missile. Okay, let's see if we can take that Tick Tank out before it kills me. And no, my Tick Tank does not want to take that out. Okay, let's go for Banshees. We're going to go for Banshees and Chemical Warriors. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to move that Banshee across, build more Chemical Warriors. Kind of sucks that I don't have Flame Squads. Oh, and he's going to get the Missile. Yeah, unfortunately I'm going to lose. I definitely didn't do the best job with the Missile there. Uh, right now would have been a good chance for me to fire the Missile on top of that uh, Flame Squad that was on the Gas Cloud. So that would have detonated and killed all the units surrounding it. But definitely this wasn't the best game uh, for, for me as I didn't micro my units properly. I also didn't build the right units I think as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the third game. Establishing battlefield control. Alright, so hopefully I will have better luck and definitely Three, better microing skills in this third one. game here. It's a mirror matchup. It seems like she's also going for Commander Jade herself. And we're gonna drop in the Militant first and see what our opponent is going for here. See if she has a double harvester maybe. No, she's got a Militant of herself. So Chemical Warrior it is. That's what we're going to do. She's probably going to build more militants. Okay. That is interesting. And he's going to have flame squads too. No doubt about it. Okay, let's see if we can circle, encircle that. And I think I I didn't do this right. That's for sure. So, yeah, and his he's got level 9 flames. I mean, I think the flames are just... I think the flames are too strong. Like, it just doesn't make sense, man. 
we're gonna we're gonna try to capture this launch pad first, the top one, as it is very important. Or we will lose the missile here, which is a big deal. So let's do that. And hopefully we can make something out of it. Yeah, that definitely I, I'm suffering a bit from those level advantages. And now he's got a Kim buggy. That sucks. That is unfortunate. Let's move our chemical warrior here to the bottom. Let's build more attack bikes. I think he's gonna go for just cam buggies. Oh, I guess not. Okay, let's let's try to hold on to his launch pad here. Let's just try to hold on to his launch pad. There we go. We held on to it. Tank time. We'll roll our tank across now. That was some sick micro from my side. That's for sure. Let's build some more tanks. Let me see if I can get it across. Ooh, he's gonna kill his own unit? What? Okay, that was a misfire from him. So he fired onto a he fired a missile onto a tile that didn't have any uh Chris any uh Tiberium gas or crystals. I'm gonna fire a missile here. Hopefully that kills his Giga Cannon. Yes it does! Goodbye, Giga Cannon. That was a nice missile from me. Nice clean shot. We're gonna build another tank. We're gonna build some chemical warriors again. His harvester dies, that's good for me. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna keep reinforcing our positions with the with the tanks here. We're gonna move the tank to the bottom. Okay, let's do that. We'll move another tank. And missile is not almost done. No, it is not. But we're gonna get... He's just going for attack bikes. I mean... Oh! That missile was fired in the wrong position! That definitely wasn't the best missile. That was a... I was trying to fire it onto the crystal patch on the left side, but that came out the wrong way. Regardless, we win the game. Some funny missiles here. As, as I said, guys, I'm really not good with the Jade Callus missile right now because it's been a really long time since I got to use her. But anyways, guys, that was some pretty cool actions. I mean, we didn't, we didn't get to see the base rush with the Chemical Warrior. Uh, gas and the jade, jade catalyst missile it's very difficult to pull off when you get to higher levels and also you need to play a lot yeah you, you really have to master your micro um, in order to pull off something like that against opponents that are getting better and better so anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some green explosions here and there as well thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys next time